Welcome back to Cryptos R Us. I am George. We're all George. So I wasn't planning on streaming tonight, but you know what? I had some free time, so why not? So let's talk about crypto. Let's talk about sneakers, Air Jordans, or anything else that's cool. And let's talk about cars. You know, I love I know you guys love cars, you guys love shoes. You guys love crypto. Let's just chat about everything tonight since we got nothing better to do. So smash up the like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me on social media. And check out all the latest news, article, and guides at CryptoZeros.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you guys are having a good night. You know, overall, overall... You know, I don't think anyone's complain, right? Look at it. Bitcoin is above this 44.5, 44.7 to be exact. Looking pretty good. And look at the heat map. Like literally everything is, everything is in the green. And you have one in particular that I know a lot of you guys are excited about. And that's VeChain that just pumped up 20% out of the blue. So, fantastic to see VeChain get some traction. So tonight for crypto, it's a pretty good day. Pretty good day. Pretty good night. Pretty good overall. Market cap is above $2 trillion. Can't really be complaining. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of prepared. It's just whatever. You know, we'll just go talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, talk some cars. Talk some... Crypto, talk some shoes. I got some new shoes. And I wanted to, you know, just get your opinion. I, 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 I cannot believe it was my last contest when I was giving out the strap on NFTs. You guys, like, recognized my shoe, like, immediately. I didn't know how many of you guys were really into Air Jordans. Uh, it really surprised me. I, I'm really behind the game, and I need to catch up. So I would love to hear some, some you know, some cool ones to pick up, even though I picked up so many recently. But anyways, uh, in case you're wondering about VeChain, I was looking at it, and the only thing I could find was this. And I'm not exactly sure this is the reason or because someone just decided that is a good time to buy. But I did see Tim Draper, which of course is a very well-known investor, tech investor, and a big blockchain guy, right, teamed up with VeChain. And uh, they will basically bring entrepreneurs together and basically get other people involved with the VeChain platform. And that's what we want to see, right? The future, the bright future, the, the, the future minds that will be coming into the space will now be building on top of VeChain. Of course, they have their VUSD, right? And I've been saying they've been focusing more on DeFi, that's about it. I haven't heard of anything else unless you guys know something I don't know. But overall, this is what we want to see. VeChain has been kind of stagnant for a while, right? Obviously off from its highs. You could see a high of, what, 25 cents. So we're still far from that. But way, way, way higher than previous highs from 2017, 2018. It's just a matter of time VeChain catches up to everything else, right? That's why. I've always said, don't give up on VeChain. Don't give up on VeChain. All right. Um, that's really all I had to say. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed what's behind me. That's one of the recent Jordans I picked up. Jordan 1 Pine Green. It's a pretty good, pretty good shoe. Pretty good shoe. But I've been, I've been, uh, you know, like in terms of, the Jordans, I've been looking at more like, you know, the later ones, the later editions, like the 11, 12s, 13s. I'm really in love with 13s and a little bit of 14s. Not really into like the mid editions, like the 5s, 6s, 7s, but I'm really starting to get addicted to the 6s. I think the 6s are really, really sleek. Oh man, look at this. Bitcoin's starting to pump. Every time I, I stream, Bitcoin seems to be pumping. Can't complain about that. <laughs> so, uh, yes. 
I'm not a fan, Justin. I can't get into threes, man. I, I don't know why everyone is into threes. I, I can't get into threes. I can't get into fours. Fives, no. But, you know, I'm looking at sixes. I'm like, man, this is this is sick. The new six Midnight Navy that's going to be dropping in May. This is just a sleek looking shoe. Of course, they have different designs, like really colorful ones too that look pretty good if you want to stand out. But in terms of just like a like a really, you know, really white pop in shoe. <laughs> I think sixes look really damn good. And I was looking at like fives too. Like this white stealth one for a five. I think this is starting to grow on me. Fives are starting to grow on me. But I can't get myself into fours or threes right now for some reason. Just can't can't get myself into them. But maybe. I didn't like 14s before either. And now I'm starting to really like 14s too. I guess the more you stare at the shoes, the more you start liking them. I, I think that's how it is. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta really get into it. And I think Jordan 7s are also really... Really good looking. Some of these sevens are smoking. I love them. <laughs> I, I'm playing. I'm trying to play catch up. You know, it's like I know most of you guys been in sneakers and Air Jordans for quite some time, but for me, it's like, man, I'm starting to really get into them. All right. Yeah, let's just talk whatever you guys want to talk about. Whatever. Oh, the last thing I did see this, my best friend uh, pointed this out, Elon. Elon is not a fan of Twitter. So he's talking about a new platform. <laughs> so I don't know if this means that Elon is going to start his own social media platform. And maybe he should just buy out Twitter. Buy out Twitter would be nothing to him. All right. Like literally nothing. He could do a hostile takeover in a single week. Right, but it does seem like Elon. Maybe he's gonna partner up with Joe Rogan. You know, there's a lot of rumors if Joe Rogan wants to leave Spotify, you know, him and Elon can partner up and create the greatest social media platform there is. Maybe that's coming too. Who knows? Who knows? So, of course, I bring this up because of Elon and because of Tesla and because of cars. All right. Make my stream black. What's wrong with this white screen right here? This is black. Okay, we'll go there. <laughs> uh, thoughts on the 400Z. You know what? The the Proto looks so much better than, uh, you know, than the actual release. Where, where's a good... I mean, th this just... They, they really effed this up. That's I I gotta say, the sides, you know, the the silhouette, uh, the back, looks great. It's a it's a manual, right? These days you don't see a lot of manuals, so it's great that it's a manual. Limited slip differential, but just look at this front end. That that just they just killed it. They just killed it. They had a really really solid car. Until they showcased what the, the final version is. And this front end is just butt ugly. Butt ugly. Um, but the, the rest of it looks pretty good. I think this will be a better car than, say, the Supra. But, man, I, I can't get over that front end. But the back end looks pretty, pretty good. I have not driven one yet, so I can't tell you how it drives. But I do want to drive one once it comes out. I think the Supra is a pretty fun drive. And, uh, you know, because of the, the 400Z, uh, they're, uh, they're, introducing, um, they're introducing a manual. It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> PT Cruiser Sport? Are you serious? I think the Supra grew on me. When I first looked at the Supra, I didn't like it. And then it started growing on me. And then after I, I test drove it, I'm like, it's a fun car. It's actually a fun little car. Very tight. Uh, very fast. 
you know, the engine sounds great. It's underpowered. Even though it says like it has 330 horsepower, don't believe that. It, it's closer to 400 because it's a BMW engine. BMW always underrates their engines. It's much faster than a 330 horsepower. That's for sure. And the fact that they're getting a manual transmission is going to make it a lot better. So, yep, yep, yep. Um, a 911 or Tesla. Uh, two very different cars. Very, very different. Um, you know what? Out of all the cars I've test driven, I have not driven any 911s yet. Um, I have not test driven a lot of Porsches in general. So I want to. I would love to drive the new GT3. I love to get a GT3, but they're like a hundred or two hundred thousand over MSRP right now, which is ridiculous. Love to get a GT3 or a 911 Turbo. I am five ten. Uh, Zillico or Loop Ring? I don't know. Maybe Zillica because they're new metaverse. There could be a lot of hype around that metaverse, but I, Loop Ring, I'm just not sold on. I would not get a Pole Star. Nope. Uh, we test drove the RXL today, looking for third row. Yeah, RXL is way too small. They, they extended it by like 13 inches, but because the way the hatchback like really slopes down, you, you don't have any, barely any um, cargo room. It, it's just a small car. Uh, the Highlander Platinum, it's better, but Highlanders in general are small. MDX, I drove before the new one. It's okay. It's okay. Um, you know what? You may want to look at the new GV80 from Genesis. I think that's a really nice car. Looks good. Plenty big. Plenty of technology. If you don't want to go German. But if you want a true German three-row SUV, then you go with the X7. The X7 is a beautiful, beautiful driving car. And it looks good, too. Or you could get go, go with Mercedes, get a GLS. Um... Yeah, but RXL is just too small. Hey, you can look at you can look at LX, the new LX six hundred. That's not bad, but that's a huge car. Sequoia, the Sequoia Capstone, that's a big car too. Um, what do you think about Subaru BRZ? I can't. You know, I think it's okay, but it's just way too small for me. Well, I can't fit in there. I'm just too big for it. You you got to be like under a hundred and fifty pounds to to fit in a BRZ. <laughs> Like, seriously, it's so small. <laughs> Is the 10K portfolio created public somewhere? No, it's just, I, I don't have anywhere. I have it on uh, coin stats right now. But, you know, it's not, it's not a real public secret. Just go back to any of my videos. Any of my videos on Wednesday when I'm DCAing, I go through a list, just take a look at it. Really... Not, not like, you know, it's not really hidden or anything like that. Ryan, new to Bitcoin. Appreciate your videos. Well, I appreciate you, man. Do sneaker collectors prefer their own size or their particular preferred size? Well, it depends. See, that's the, that's the thing when it comes to collecting shoes is you have to worry about sizes. From what I hear, most people, most men, wear a nine and a nine and a half, which shocks me because almost everyone I know wears bigger shoes. Like I, I wear 10 and a half, 11. My, my best friends are like 12s and they're not like seven feet giants. So I don't, I don't know, but I've been hearing nine and nine and a half is the most sold sizes. So I'm assuming most people are just, they have smaller feet. So, yeah, if you're collecting to resell, then, of course, you want to pick up the, the most popular sizes. But if you're just collecting slash wearing them, then just get your own size. <laughs> Men's underwear index. I, are, you, are you just trolling me, man? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. <laughs> uh. Jordan 3 and size 13. Man, 
you know, everyone's going crazy about Jordan 3s outside of Jordan 1s. Like, Jordan 1s, they finally, like, they finally grew on me. You know, 3s are okay. I think, like, you know, like the Cardinal Red, I think these will look good on on a lot of outfits. And I'm not the, the best dresser by far. But, you know, just just... Just some jeans or some jogger pants, you know, whatever. And these look like they're mid tops. They're not really high tops, right? So it's a little little easier to wear in the summer too. On some of the later editions, you know, the high tops are really high. So then there's low tops and so the low tops don't look really good. So it really depends. But like I've been staring at Jordan 3s and I'm like, man, I just, it's just no. This actually reminds me of the tens. Yeah. I uh, sixes are like really, really like I have no sixes right now. But man, after staring at sixes, I think the Carmine, the UNC, these are these are smoking. Well, this is a kid size, you know, I don't want to look at that kid size, but I mean that that's a good looking shoe. That's a good looking shoe. Alan Greenspan has a men's underwear index, kind of like Freakonomics science. All right. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. That is just weird. Weird. I love 11s, but you know what? There's not a lot of color variation, right? Because you have this very shiny part on the 11s. Uh, it makes a lot of the colors really weird. So it's, it's mostly just white, black. You have you add some red in there. I like the eleven low uh, reverse tuxedos, uh, or just reverse these reverse Concord. I think for a low top, this is awesome, but this is damn expensive. I guess it's really rare, and this they haven't really retro this a lot. So when was this released? 2013 so it's almost been 10 years so you're looking at whew, almost $700 for this I think this is the best looking 11 lows and they don't have this for highs where it's like reversed so that's the unfortunate thing I don't know why they don't but these grays are selling like crazy and I don't I just don't dig them and these low whites with the blue you know soles these are selling like crazy, but I'm not into those either. But yeah, I used to love 11s. But now I love 12s and 13s. 13s look really good. I, I love I love 12s and 13s. 12s, I think, look smoky. I bought this. I have a pair of this now. The University Gold. I think that looks good. You know, the reverse flu game. I think that looks good. Man. Just there's a lot of good stuff. And I love 13. 13s is just my favorite. You can mix so many colors. I showed you guys a Del Sol, but you know they got this uh, the purple and then the the orange, the green, the blue, and then of course you got like just the traditional black, white, red. I mean, and then the low tops for 12s look good. I've been buying a lot of low top 12s because. It just fits. It fits really well. So I love tw I love 13s. I love 13s. Did I go to high school in the 90s? Yes, late 90s. Late 90s. I have the Bordeaux 12s. I don't know if I can find it. It's a really unique purple <laughs> there. I bought this. I don't know why. I'm like, it's suede. It's purple. Why not? <laughs> I have no idea how you match this, but I, I did buy this. <laughs> uh, uh, what, did, what did you say? I don't like... <laughs> Jordan's 15s and up, I think, are the most ridiculous-looking shoes. They're not meant for basketball, so 
They're just fashion shoes, and I don't know who designed them. I think they're all very ugly. After 14s, I can't stand any of them. Uh, Danny asks, do you think Ergo is being overlooked for the next POW after it's more utility than ETH class? Uh, I don't know if it's being overlooked. It's not, it's not known enough for all the Ethereum miners to move over. That's the thing. It's still a relatively small project. It's more likely that Ethereum miners will move to Ethereum Classic than, than Ergo. And even if they did move over, that doesn't automatically just pump it up. I mean, just because they're mining it doesn't mean anything. Um, so keep that in mind. 17 and 18 are classics. All right, let's see. Yeah, that, that's just, no. 17s, no. How could this be classic? What, what uh, I don't even know what's going on here. That that is ugly to me. That is extremely ugly to me. And Jordan eighteen, if I could spell. Um, let's see. Maybe Jordan eighteens are better. I, no. What what? <laughs> No, it's, what is this? this? This looks like something, you know, in those uh, apoc uh, apocalyptic movies, like Mad Max. I would see guys in Mad Max wear shoes like this. Like, what is going on here? This is why anything after 14 is just all garbage. I don't know what happened after 14s. It's just, it got worse and worse and worse. And look at the 15s. The 15s, like, what is this? What, what what is this? What how do, how do you make the tongue like this? Like I don't I don't know what happened. Yeah, anyways. Yeah. That's you know, it's no I mean, you, you could tell that 1 through 13 is the most popular because what do they keep retroing, right? One through thirteens. <laughs> they don't really retro the later styles because no one likes them. But anyways, yeah. Thirties and up. What did it stop at? Like thirty-three or thirty-four? It doesn't even show Jordan thirties. Jordan. Tw is this a Jordan thirty? That looked way better than the 18s and 17s. I can see this. I, I can see this. This actually looks pretty cool. Not this one. No, not this one. Yeah, I would say if I was rocking a 30, it would have to be this. The UNC one. I think that looks okay. Ah, that's no... I mean, I like this fade, but not not like this. No. Yeah. No. No. The link where you could check total liquidations. I mean, you could search for it. This is the one. This is this is what I use. If you want to learn about liquidations, go here. I, I put the link in the chat. I mean, right now, there's not a whole lot, I don't think. Yeah, you can see just a little bit right now, just a little bit. I don't own any Easy's. Easy's look weird to me. They, 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 they look weird. Opinion on replica sleekers. I mean, replicas are so damn, so damn, like, accurate that, of course, if anyone's wearing it, you can't tell, right? You're not going to be able to tell. But the thing is, you can't resell it. A lot of these Jordans, one of the things I learned later on is a lot of the Jordans, even after they're, like, really worn, you could still sell them for something, right? Um, so that's the thing. So if, especially if you get the really rare ones, really rare I don't know, like Travis Scott's or something like that. They're still worth like thousands of dollars, even after 
you wear them for like a year or two, right? So that's the difference between a real one and a replica one. But, you know, if anyone's wearing a replica, you're not going to be able to tell. Unless you like, you know, drop to your knees and start inspecting them. It's like there's no way anyone's going to tell. This is the one. I think that if you have money, I think this is the one to get. You got it. This is the one to get. But, you know, it'd just be ridiculous to wear this around. If you got money, you made it in crypto, right? You want to flex without really trying to look like you're flexing. Wear these around. Jordan 1, low, Dior's. Uh, in my size, about close to $8,000. So, if you want to flex, go get these. <laughs> the Jordan 6 dropped when I was in 6th grade. I don't know when Jordan 6 dropped. I mean, I remember I was, I was pretty close. I didn't pay attention to Jordans until when I was in high school and I had a few pairs and I think I had six and seven and then uh, I just didn't get them anymore. Do I have any crypto domains? No. I have uh, the CryptoZeros.com one. Uh, CryptoZeros.crypto. That's, that's it. I didn't buy anything else. AMG GTRs. I don't know. Which one are you talking about? Like the black edition? Is that the AMG black edition you're talking about? These don't look sick, but I don't know which. The GTR, is that? It sounds familiar. AMG GTR. Yeah. I guess the, the uh, black edition is the extreme version of the GT. Um, I think the green one looks pretty darn good. I was looking at this before. I was looking at this. Like, uh, what, what's a fun car to get? But I don't know how well these hold their value. You know, they're Mercedes. Mercedes don't normally hold value very well. But it's a good looking car, though. Uh, but the one thing is the GTR, people get confused between GT, GTC, GTR. They all kind of look the same. That's the thing, too. Kind of deludes away the appeal. LV trainers, if you want to flex. Yeah, I've seen those. They don't. They don't look that good to me. Air Force One, you know, a lot of people told me about Air Force Ones. And they actually look really good because the sole is so, the midsole is so high. So, I mean, if you don't want Jordans because they're a little bit too expensive or pricey, I think the next, next, you know, next shoe to look at is probably the Air Force Ones. Right, they're good looking shoes. There's a lot of designs. Uh, but I think the, the appeal is, you know, the the midsole is quite quite high. I mean you can't go wrong with something like this. Right? Just like a pure white look, white sneaker with some black or the reverse of that. But I like some pop, I don't know. I think like adding some color. You know, if you think about it, for for a guy, how can you how can you stand out, accessorize, right, without going too crazy? There's really only like two things: watch and shoes, right? Like everything else is kind of like whatever, unless you're wearing all, a whole bunch of designer stuff, right? But for a guy, there's really two things: like a nice watch and shoes. So that's how you pop, right? So I think a lot of guys take advantage of shoes where you get some color. But if you could afford some nice watches, you know, that's another way. Belt? I guess belt, yeah. I, I've never been a belt guy 
my gut is too big, so I don't really tuck anything into my belt. <laughs> so I need to work on that. Olympic sixes. The Beijing one or or the London one. So this is a London one. So it's just kind of like a dark blue. Oh boy. Oh, what? And then which one? And then there's a Beijing one where it's like more like tan, red, blue. I'm assuming you're talking about the London one, right? This looks like the, um, the gray one I was looking at. The only problem with Jordan 6s is, is like the sole right here, this transparent sole, which is in a lot of Jordans. They're like, like a bluish transparent um, color, but they turn yellow and they look damn ugly once they turn yellow that's the problem but these look good these look good i like the unc i think the most with this they had a six i forgot what it's called it's like gray uh, i can't find it anymore The motorsport one. All white and black. You know, Jordan 7s look pretty good, too. Jordan 8s don't look good. I don't know what, what happened, why they went with the strap, but Jordan 7s look pretty good, too. Very similar to the 6. Do you know? Two Super Chats, thank you. Jordan 3 patchwork. Oof. You know, I, I could see how people could rock these. If it, you know, if you have camouflage pants or something. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. But, you know, I if you wear khakis, I guess. You know, anything tan. I guess it'll work. Okay, I can see that. Uh, Oreo 6. That's just black and white, right? Uh... Yeah. See, this one time out. You see how the sole is already yellowing? That just looks horrible. That just takes away from the whole thing, right? And that happens with every six. So, unfortunately, that's why I'm not buying any sixes. There's only one six where that's painted. And then and then you don't have to worry about it. Which one was it? Uh, this one, the hair. So you see they painted that at least red so you can't tell when it's fading. But everything else, like this one, right? You can see it's yellowing. No one wants to see that. It just looks really ugly after it yellows. That's the problem with the sixes. But the Oreo one, I don't know. I used to have a 360 Mondena. Now every day there is a CLS AMG. Well... If you had a three, you know, the, the 360s manuals have shot up in price. The 360 manual is like 150K now. I had a 360. It's my very first really like exotic car. I love that car. It, it was, it's still a head turner. Like if you want to get a Ferrari, 355s are good, but they're kind of outdated because of their squarish look. 360s still, it's a timeless design. It never it never looks uh, bad. I don't know if you guys know that I run a car channel, but I didn't 
post many videos in here, but if you go to Yeah, this is like my first this is my first uh one of my first videos. Alright. Let's get that ad. I mean this I put on four some four thirty wheels here. That's a good looking car. That's a good looking car. I mean, and it's, you know, it's like 20 years. Yeah, it's 20, it's over 20 years. But that, you know, you, you drive a 360 round, you still look like a million bucks. And the interior, you know, I put some carbon fiber. I don't own this car anymore, but, you know, I replaced the dash and the center console with carbon fiber. You know, you go with a tan and black look, man, it's just with the red outside you can't beat that and 360s have gone up a lot in price recently uh you should drive the e-tron gtrs or the porsche Taycans. i really want to because i want to compare it to see how how it is versus my plaid i'm hearing that Taycans drive like a dream like like actual luxury car but um, the range just isn't there. So Ferrari, they do have Ferrari Jordans. It's the 13s. 13, um, no, 14. This one right here. <laughs> they didn't put a Ferrari <laughs> logo, but that, that, that's what this is really. It's just like a, it, it's a Ferrari red. And then they also have like a pure yellow or tan that matches your interior. And then you can see the carbon fiber midsole. So, so if you're driving Ferrari, you want a Jordan, you want to pick up a Jordan 14. There's a guy here that has a 70s Stingray with a Tesla engine. I don't even know how that's possible but i guess anything's possible if you can if you could fit it then yeah uh why is v chain up can't really tell you i think it's because of this i think tim draper has enough pull so a lot of people got excited but this was uh, announced last night so i don't know just some people wanted to want to buy it pumping it up but we'll take it we'll take it you know, V-Chain has been stagnant for a while, but you know what? They're going to get their chance. They're going to come back up. Supreme Air Force Ones or Lightning Fours? Do I only Rolexes? I do. A couple of them. You like the Travis Scott Sixes? Uh, yeah, but generally speaking, I don't like, you know, like brown color car, uh, shoes. Jordan 6, Travis Scott's, there's two of them. And I like this one more. Like more of the darker olive color. I think this could do well. I mean, I, I think this could be matched pretty well. But everyone goes with the ones. The ones, Travis Scott's. I think they do look better. But these look good. They're a lot more affordable than the ones. Do I like off-white ones? I do, but they still look weird to me. And just, I feel like they're just way too expensive to be worn. Like, out of the three, obviously the Chicago is the most popular, but, you know, I wouldn't mind the blue or the white. The white is too subtle, I think. And there is a kids, like, pure white one. And I'm wondering why they didn't release that color. But um, but these yellow really, really fast. I, I actually tweeted a picture before because, like, the this is, like, some kind of weird mesh material. It's not actually leather in a lot of places. And they turn yellow, like, immediately. But, you know, it's like when you're paying... Six, seven thousand dollars for shoes. Do you really want to be wearing them? I don't care how how rich you are. 
As soon as you wear these, they're going to get dirty. And you know what? It's like if you want to buy this and put it on your shelf and just look at, great. You know, to wear these, man, it's just, it's really hard to see that. But you know what? A lot of, a lot of celebrities do. But they still kind of look weird to me. I don't know. Vot says, George, no one online on Saturday night gives a F about sneakers. Well, apparently you're wrong because 1,500 people are in here asking about sneakers. So maybe you just don't. And if you don't and you feel left out, you can ask about cars or crypto. Just don't be a hater. <laughs> uh, I don't have any news about Elrond. I'm sorry. Yeah, and if you're wearing these... Like in a bad neighborhood, you're going to get jacked. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, you know, it's a good day. Good crypto day. 2.2 trillion. We're above that 2 trillion mark again. So that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, John, we have not recorded anything for the boardroom. I'm trying to get, find new ideas. They haven't been doing that well. So, you know, we're trying to think of changing it up, maybe new topics or something, but we haven't really. Tech Hunter, welcome. I'm too old. Swatches and Rubik and Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, hey, didn't Swatches... Swatch, the watch company, I just saw that they had a partnership with Omega and Omega released a watch that was only $260. Did you guys hear about that? I don't really follow Omega, but they just came out with some partnership today or something. Uh, Omega. Yeah, this. The Omega Swatch, Moon Swatch, looks out of this world, and it's only $260. And uh, I heard that Omega stores were jam-packed because of this. I don't know. I think that, to me, looks, like, butt-ugly. I don't know what's... I don't know. But I guess you get the Omega name. I mean, Omega is pretty expensive, right? A few thousand dollars, two, three, four, five thousand dollars. Not as much as a Rolex or anything else, but uh, being under 300, people went crazy over these. But they don't, that doesn't look very good to me. And it's in some, it's in ceramic rather than metal. It's battery powered. So there's a lot of, um, I guess drawbacks. They had to cut back a lot of things. Uh, do you know when Algorand's London Bridge and Ethereum be online? Could bring a lot of TVL. Yeah, Algorand, one thing that they don't have is TVL. So if they do get more, that's a, that'll definitely help them. I actually don't know when that bridge is supposed to be soon. It I, it could be it could be in the next week or so. It's supposed to be within. I thought it was within March, but you know, obviously, it could be pushed back. Do you know another super chat? Big super chat. Thank you. Change the wrist strap, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Check out a three hundred eight GT four Ferrari. That one drives crazy. You're you're talking about a Dino. I actually reviewed a Dino. Um, very hard car to drive. That's a 308, right? Yeah. There you go. You're talking about it. Uh, someone actually reached out, or I reached out to someone. I forgot on the Ferrari forum. And he's like, hey, I have a Dino. You want to drive it? And I did. Um, and the guy was been replaced, you know, restoring it for some time. And it looks, it looks good. It looks really good. But it's so tough to... Drive, no power steering, no power anything. But yeah. Um, 
XP Ford Falcon Australia. Well, what is that? Ford Falcon. This? Is this what you're driving around? I like this. The 75 one. I... I love a 69 Camaro um, SS. Yeah, I, I would drive this around all day, all day, every day. That, that just looks so good. <laughs> if I was gonna get a muscle car and I'm gonna go restore something, man, I, I'd get a 69 Camaro SS. That is just a good looking car. That's a really good looking car. Oh, no, I don't want to sign in. But I don't think I'll ever have the time. Yep. Seventy three Skylark. What's the car they drove? What's the car they drove in uh, uh, Supernatural? I don't remember that. It's very similar to this. Or is this the car? You guys, Supernatural used to be my favorite show when they finally ended it, and it was a really bad ending. But what did Dean drive around? But it was a, it was a nice car, similar to this. Uh, Leatherface uh, backstory, yeah, this could be a long backstory. You you got to check out my other channel. I am George. I kind of give my backstory in that channel. Uh, so check it out. Just search I am George. You'll you'll find the channel, and I have a lot of videos that kind of talk about my backstory. Uh, I have a Submariner and a Daytona. They're impossible to find if you want to pace, you know, uh, retail. I mean, if you're willing to overpay, you can find them all day long, but still. <clears throat> and they're, they're much more expensive. So I try to try not to splurge on watches because I don't want to overpay. Every watch is like three or four times more than their retail value. Should I turbo my 2011 Honda Accord Coupe and slam it to the ground? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> no. No one rices out their cars anymore. Why would you need to when you could buy a, a Mustang GT and you're, you know, at 400 plus horsepower? You don't need to. You don't need to rice out your car. Like when I was in high school and college, that's you know, Fast and Furious came out and everyone's just going crazy with their cars. Um, but these days, you know, you don't need to. You get a Civic Type R, a Mustang GT, a Camaro, uh, RS or G SS, whatever, and you're pushing 400 plus horsepower ready. Um, what? Focus RS. Focus RS was really good until they discontinued it. Yeah, this was a nice, nice little hot hatch. There's not a lot of hot hatches left. You have the, um, the Golf, is it Golf GTI? No, GTR. I forgot it was GTI. G yeah, you have the Golf. The new Civic Type R should be out. And that's pretty much it. I don't know what other hot hatches there are. 
the Golf. Oh no, the Golf R. I'm sorry, GTI and the R. Right. Looks okay. Doesn't look that good. Look kind of like sleepy. I've never driven an R. I've driven a GTI, and GTI is a nice car. So I, I haven't driven this new one yet. Four total. My bro just totaled a sixty K RS and got a four Raptor. Big change. <laughs> Big change. I, I love big trucks too. I love the Raptor. I love the Ram. The new Raptor. We, we need a Raptor R, right? That's that's rumor, but Ford might give up on it because they're contrary on the Lightning so much. So the Raptor is nice, but we need more power. So I don't know if Ford is going to release a Raptor R. Hopefully they, they will. But the new Raptor is kind of... I wouldn't say it looks better than the old Raptor, right? And the Ram TRX is still a pretty good looking truck. But there's so many of them out there. Like I see them like every other day almost. So they're not like really special anymore. I want to get a Ram TRX 6x6. <laughs> that, that would be insane. Like imagine driving this beast around. <laughs> Oh man, look at how long that is. I would drive this. If I was living in a countryside on a farm and didn't have to worry about going anywhere, I would totally ride this around. Come on, this does not look dumb. This looks badass, okay? And you could get a you get a Jeep Gladiator 6x6, which doesn't look as good, but it still looks pretty good. You'll probably go get like five miles to the gallon with this. You just can't. You can't park this anywhere. You just have to roll around. And it's way too big to be off-roading. Bronco Raptor looks great. I would actually consider getting a Bronco Raptor. It's just they're going to be impossible to find. The new Ranger Raptor looks pretty good too, but, you know, not very powerful. And quite simply, not that menacing looking. I mean, it's just like, it's okay, but nothing too. I'm not impressed looking at this. Now, on the other hand, Bronco Raptor looks pretty good. Yeah, this with this 37 inch tires. Yeah, th this is where it's at. Yeah, I would love to get this. This is a regular 35 inch versus 37 inch tires. The Raptor versus the non Raptor. The regular one is already big. I reviewed a Bronco. You know, the Bronco with a Sasquatch package is already a very big SUV, like a huge SUV. So the Bronco one, I mean the Raptor one, is significantly bigger. <laughs> so keep that in mind. What kind of global cap do you think we're looking at by the end of the year? I mean, if things continue the way they have been going, and keep in mind, we had so much FUD, so much uncertainty, and Bitcoin crypto is still holding very well. If things improve and things really recover, I mean, we could quite simply, I don't know, we could see a three, three and a half trillion market cap by the end of the year. That's only like 50%, a little bit above 50%. You know, I say that because Bitcoin was at 60,000 plus, almost 70,000 before, right? That's only about 50% gain. So I could see if the market improves, we could easily be at a $3 trillion market cap. Probably be a little bit higher than that too. With all the with all the FOMO and the money coming in, uh, Os Jeff, hey, thank you guys. Ford SUV, I mean Ferrari SUV, yeah. I don't follow any Lotus. 
Lotus Emera, Almera. That's a good looking car. Well, only 360 horsepower. I mean, that doesn't even, you know, a, a, a Nissan 400Z has more horsepower than this. That, that's always been a problem with Lotuses. They're small little cars with small little engines or they use like Toyota engines and stuff like that. That's why I'm not, it's never been really appealing to me. Would you consider a car giveaway? Yeah, but I don't want to make it something like, you know, hey, I'm just going to give away a car, right? I want it to be like something special. I may do that in a year, depending on how the market is. Uh, I like Hellcats. Demon, you can't get a Demon anymore, but I like Hellcats. What are your thoughts on Strong Block and its nodes? I'm not actually not that familiar with Strong Block. So, like, I don't know. I don't know. Tesla or Lucid? I mean, Lucid right now looks like it's a very good car. I mean, their air it looks really good. But can they produce them, right? That's the thing. Tesla has all the manufacturing uh, right now. They just turned up the Giga Berlin. And that's going to be huge. They have factories everywhere, right? How many factories does, uh, you know, Lucid or Rivian have? Like, barely one. None of them can produce any cars. So their market cap, their valuation is just insane. There's no reason they should command the market cap they do. And if they do, that shows that Tesla is really undervalued. <laughs> so they delayed my Tesla by six months. And that's, don't worry. What, what did you get? Uh, Model Y? Or do you get something else? Um, Genesis SUV got a killer tech. What? LC500 is, I've tested one, the convertible. You got to get a convertible. A regular LC500 looks okay, but man, the convertibles are so nice. So, so nice. Not the green. But the red or anything else, it's nice. But the tech is outdated. Inside is nice. Diesel and quick, not that quick. It's like a 400-something horsepower um, engine. But, man, really well built, and it's a stunning car. It is much wider than you expect. So when you're rolling around, you will get stairs, especially if you pick something like yellow. I, I do actually like them. They don't sell, they don't hold their value very well, though. If you look at their used car, the resale value, they, they drop really fast. Did I miss the shoes? Uh, I think you did. I was, you know, you could feel free. I, I, it started out as shoe chat, then kind of crypto, and now it's cars. But, yeah, it's been a while, so I think it will probably take off, but. Jordan 6 is starting to get addicted to him. Um, all right. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. It's been a fun chat. Saturday night, not much to do, right? Cars, crypto, and and uh, and shoes, sneakers, Air Jordans. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be streaming a little bit earlier. Rather than 11.30, I'm probably going to stream around uh, 10.30 instead of 11.30 an hour earlier. So just so you guys are aware. And, um, and that's it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. All right. Take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.